General, I would first of all like to uh, present two uh, people who are traveling with us, both well known to all of you. First, the United States Ambassador to the Federal Republic, Ambassador George McGee. And secondly, a veteran of Berlin and many struggles, General Lucius Clay. I want to express uh, my warmest thanks to all of you who serve in the armed forces of the United States and also your wives, children. There are not uh, many Americans here in uh, West Berlin. It's a small force relative to the thousands of troops that surround this city. And yet, in a very real sense, uh, this small force and the forces of France and Great Britain have played a very real role in maintaining the independence of this vital city for many, many years. And in maintaining the independence of West Berlin, you play a significant role in the defense of Western Europe, the freedom of which is essential to the United States. But in all of our long history, including particularly the history of the 19th century, when there were many beleaguered garrisons, and no garrison served under comparable conditions in territory surrounding it uh, so dangerous and with the adversary so numerous. So the question, of course, is uh, what is your role? Well, you know it very well. Your presence here, your lives, in fact, commit the United States of America the several thousands of troops that are here, the several thousands of French and British troops, commit the 180 million people of the United States, whose sons and brothers you are, as it commits the people of France and Great Britain. But you are more than hostages. You are also an effective force on your own, because you are part, in a sense, the arrowhead of a long line of your colleagues in arms who also stand guard and watch in dozens of countries stretching all around the globe. Stretch thin, even though uh, there are a million of them, so great are our commitments, but stretch thin. But it is finally their determination and the will and perseverance and perhaps most important of all, the perseverance of our fellow Americans that makes good on these commitments and makes those countries that we've guaranteed be sure of our word. For 18 years it's been done, and it'll be done in the future. And I take great pride and satisfaction speaking behalf of all Americans who are far away and expressing our thanks and esteem to all of you. We're proud of you, and we appreciate what you're doing, and the warm welcome that all of us have received in Berlin and the Federal Republic indicates that you live among friends. Thank you. <laughs>